Hi, family incinerators. It's me, Mrs. Case, the happy teacher. I am so looking forward to reading with you today. It's just been a day where a lot of things happened. I went on a nice long walk with Bella today. Hopefully at some point she'll come over here and snuggle up where we're reading and listen to the story. And I couldn't wait to get home and share the next chapter of Jimmy B. Jones with you. Aloha. Ha. Especially when I heard from one of my students um, that it really meant a lot to her to hear the first chapter. So here we go. Junie B. Jones, aloha. Ha. Remember in the first chapter, Junie B. was so excited because she found out that she was going to go on vacation and she was writing in her first grade journal all about it and she wanted to share during show and tell but Mr. Scary made her wait um, but he told her that she could go first after journal time. So now we are going to go back and reread the end of the first chapter because that's what good readers do. So the end of the first chapter, Mr. Scary is explaining to her that the deal that they made, she said, I bounced up and down at that exciting idea. That sounds like a D-E-E-L. I think I might have spelled that wrong. That sounds like a D-E-E-L, I said. You mean D-E-A-L, said Mr. Scary. Deal is spelled with an A, Junie B. Whatever, I said. After that, I twirled real fast in a happy circle, and I accidentally spun myself to the ground. On my way down, I knocked over the trash can and the sink stool. All of room one turned to look at me. I sat up and waved my fingers. Do not be alarmed, people. I am perfectly okay, I said. After that, I stood up and dusted myself off. Then I went back to my seat. I looked at the clock again. No minutes had passed at all, hardly. I put my head down and did a groan. Time is as slow as a turtle. Bonus learning, that is called a simile. Juning B is comparing time to how slow a turtle is. So she's saying that time is not moving fast at all. And it's using the word as, which makes it a simile. Moving on to chapter two. My students all know that I like to sneak in that bonus learning whenever I can. So chapter two is titled, Pair O Dice. The children wrote in their journals forever, it seemed. Then finally, 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 they started to finish. And at last, it was time for show and tell. My legs sprang up and they ran me to the front of the room. Then I flinged myself in the air again and I shouted, vacation, vacation, I'm going on a vacation. Only too bad for me, because when I came down from my fling, I lost my balance and I landed on the floor again. This time, room one laughed their heads off. I tapped my fingers real annoyed. Okay, I've really got to knock off the flinging, I said to just myself. Mr. Scary quieted everyone down. Boys and girls, the reason Junie B is so excited today is that she didn't find out about her vacation until just last night. He winked at me. Tell everyone where you're going, Junie B. I took a big breath. Hawaii, people. I'm going to Hawaii. And I am going this very exact Sunday. See how it's in all caps? Whenever it's in all caps, that's like yelling on paper. All of the children's mouths fell open, except for not Richie Lucille's. Instead, Lucille stretched her arms in the air. <sighs> she did a giant yawn. Hawaii, ho-hum, 
been there, done that, she said real bored. Then she stood up and she twirled around and she sat back down again. My friend named Shirley stood up too. Well, I've never been there, she said. I can't believe it, Junie B. You're really, really going to Hawaii? Yes, Shirley, really, I said. This was the biggest surprise in my career, I tell you. On account of last night, Daddy said he is going on a job interview in Hawaii, and he surprised me and Mother with two extra tickets. I skipped around my teacher very joyful, and that is not even the bestest part yet, I said, because Daddy told me that this trip is for big people only. See how big people is in quotation marks? And so my baby brother named Ollie is not even allowed. <gasps> Room one looked shocked at that information. Wow, said my friend Jose. You mean you're big people, Jenny B? I nodded my head real fast. Oh, yes, Jose, I am big people. All right, I said. That's how come I got to read the travel booklet with Mother last night. And the travel booklet says Hawaii is a real, actual paradise. Mr. Scary grinned. A paradise, huh? That's a great word, Junie B. Does everyone know what a paradise is? Sheldon shot his hand in the air. I do, I do, he shouted. My grandpa, Ned Potts, has a paradise. He used to play craps at the gambling casino, but then someone squealed to grandma. And so now he's not allowed out at night anymore. May jumped up and pointed. Sheldon said a bad word. Sheldon said a bad word, she tattled real loud. Mr. Scary stared at her. May, dear, I'm very sorry to ruin this special tattling moment for you, he said. But Sheldon did not say a bad word. Craps is a dice game that's played at gambling casinos. <sighs> May stood there a second. Well, at least I gave it a shot, she said. Then she did a shrug and sat back down. After that, Mr. Scary printed the word paradise, P-A-R-A-D-I-S-E, on the board. He turned and looked at Sheldon. And Sheldon, my friend, he said, the word is paradise, not pair o dice. Sheldon did a shrug too. I don't think grandma really cares how you spell it, he said. Grandpa's still not getting out at night. Mr. Scary closed his eyes for a minute. Then he went to the sink and he got a drink of water. On his way back, he stopped at the world map on our bulletin board and he showed room one where Hawaii is. Boys and girls, these Pacific Islands are the main islands that make up the state of Hawaii, he told us. He got the world globe off the shelf and he asked me to carry it around to show the children. I stopped at each desk. Whoa, said Roger. Hawaii looks like a bunch of little dots floating in the ocean. I nodded. I know it, Roger, I said. But my mother said the dots are bigger in person. <laughs> Mr. Scary laughed. Oh, they're much bigger in person, Junie B. And they're not really floating, Roger. So don't worry. Our friend Junie B won't be drifting away. May did a grump noise. Phooey, she said. I ignored that situation. Instead, I put the globe back. And I went to the front of the room again. I know other information about Hawaii, too, I said. Mother read that there are lots of flowers and birds there. Plus, also, she read that Hawaii was formed by exploding volcanoes.
I thought for a second. She read a bunch of other junk too, but I finally got bored and tuned her out. <laughs> Mr. Scary did a chuckle. Well, volcanoes are pretty interesting, really. When volcanoes erupt, they spew out lava. And over millions of years, lava can form land masses, he explained. As a matter of fact, there are still two active volcanoes in Hawaii right now. I stood there real quiet and I let that information sink in my head. Then, all of a sudden, I did a little shiver. Okay, see, I wasn't actually aware of an eruption problem, I said. May jumped up again. Well, I'm sure glad that I'm not going to Hawaii, she hollered. Who wants to get erupted on by a spewy hot volcano? Getting erupted on by a spewy hot volcano would ruin your whole vacation trip. Mr. Scary sucked in his cheeks. Joni B is not going to get erupted on by a spewy hot volcano, May, he said. There are no active volcanoes on the island where Juni B is going. May thought a minute. Okay, fine. But let's just say that she did get erupted on by a spewy hot volcano. That would definitely ruin her whole vacation trip. True or false? Mr. Scary went to the sink again. This time, he splashed water on his face. After he dried off, he put May back in her chair. I waved my hand to talk some more. Yeah, only I didn't even tell everyone the most exciting part yet, because guess how I'm getting to Hawaii, people? Guess, 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 I said. No, wait. I will give you a hint. After that, I straightened out my arms like wings and I zoomed around room one. See me, people! See me! I'm flying! That's how I'm getting to Hawaii! I'm flying in a real, actual airplane! Lucille, Lucille stood up and did another yawn. Um, Airplane, shmairplane, she said, tell me something I haven't done. Mr. Scary sat her down. This is going to be an amazing adventure for you, Junie B, he told me. He grinned real big. And just to be sure that you bring back lots of wonderful pictures, I bought you a little gift for your trip. Whoops. He went to the closet and took out a shopping bag. I hurried and peeked inside. Oh, wowie, wow, wow. There was a camera in that thing. I quick pulled it out and showed the class. Look, people, look. It's the kind of camera that you get at the drugstore, I said. I am excellent at this equipment because I already used one on my class field trip in kindergarten. After that, Mr. Scary reached into the bag and pulled out another gift. And take a look at this, Junie B. This is called a photo journal, he said. A photo journal is similar to the first grade journals we use in class each day, except a photo journal tells the story in photographs instead of words. He opened it up for me. See inside, each page has a place for a daily picture and a caption. A caption is another name for a picture title, he explained. He showed the album to the class every day. Junie B will take a picture of what she did on her trip, he said. Then she will organize her photos and give them captions. And when she comes back to school, 
Her photo journal will tell us the story of her exciting trip to paradise. He handed me my album. Doesn't that sound like a fantastic, oops, doesn't that sound like a fun assignment, Junie B? He asked. I started to nod. Then suddenly I stopped. Because something did not sound right about that sentence. I tapped on my chin. It was the word assignment, I believe. Finally, I looked at my teacher. Okay, here's the problem, I said. Assignment means schoolwork and Hawaii means vacation. And children do not actually like to mix those two items. Mr. Scary smiled. Oh, but this will be a fun assignment, Junie B, he said, and it's a very special assignment too. You're going to be room one's first official photojournalist. My ears perked up. Official? I said. Did you say the word official? He grinned. Yes, I did. That's exactly what I said. Official. I looked at him again. Official means important, right? Oh, yes, he said. You can't get much more important than being official. I stood up a little bit straighter. Official makes you automatically taller, I think. After that, Mr. Scary shook my hand and he walked me back to my seat. Oh, he said, and don't forget to take your first grade journal to Hawaii with you. Okay, Junie B, it would be a terrible shame to miss a whole week of journal writing, wouldn't it? I looked at him real strange. Teachers and children do not have the same kind of brains. Finally, I did a sigh and I took out my journal and I dropped it in the bag with my camera. My friend named Herbert turned around very excited. You're a lucky duck, Junie B. Jones, he said. I wish I was going to Hawaii next week. Me too, said Lenny. Me three, said Jose. I looked at May. She did not say me four. Instead, she just kept staring straight ahead and she didn't talk at all. I did a shrug and went back to my own business. Then suddenly, without any warning, May shot her arms into the air and she hollered the word, kaboom! She looked at me and smiled. That was the sound of a spewy hot volcano erupting on you, she said. I sat there for a second. I sat there a second. Then I did another shiver. <laughs> May is not amusing. That's all for today, friends. See you tomorrow. Smiles. Mrs. Case, aka Happy Teacher.